What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK Chocolate Brother, Dr. Blue, the darkest man around. And I was sitting here thinking about a number of ways of executing this video because normally when I watch a series, I give a backstory of what the series is about. But JoJo is so hard to describe in terms of me explaining about what the series is about. Like, it's hard for me to explain. Jojo, the best way to understand Jojo is by watching Jojo, you know what I mean? And honestly, going into the series, I did not know what to expect. A lot of people said the fights are great. A lot of people said the characters are great. A lot of people was telling me it's funny. A lot of me was a lot of people were telling me that part one is uh, slow and that part two is where it picks it up. And for the most part, those people were right about Jojo's. I don't know, there's gonna be some people in the comment section saying what about Promise Neverland? You're gonna react. You, I'm gonna say react. You're gonna make a video on Promise Neverland and your thoughts on seeing Promise Neverland. Yes, I was going to do that. But a lot of people were talking about JoJo. I made a poll and JoJo won the poll. And I decided to go for JoJo as well because that series interests me. I wanted to see the hype. I wanted to see why people like JoJo. But honestly, I'm gonna tell you why I personally like JoJo. So, if there's been a time for you guys to get that fried chicken and get that Kool-Aid, now is the perfect time because the UK Chocolate Brother will be going ham on this video. So without further ado, let me just get on this. So honestly, Jojo at first was a series that I was putting off for the longest amount of time. I think it had something to do with the art style, the way some of the characters looked, the way people were saying they were flamboyant as hell, and that they were sus. It didn't really seem like a series that I, dive, I, I, that I was ever planning on diving into. Up until recently, up until recently, I was seeing the hype. I've seen a lot of people in, enjoying JoJo, and plus, I wanted a new series to watch, and that series was just in my face. And same with Promise Neverland, but that series had that edge in terms of interest, in terms of me wanting to see what this world was about. And honestly, for the most part, I'm liking it. I'm liking the world. I'm liking the fact that JoJo's not afraid to kill off characters. No one's really safe behind plot armor because for the most part, based on what I've been told, because I'm only on episode 20 now, based on what I've been told, there's a lot of new characters in each part. So you're not really tied down to characters for a massive amount of time based on what I've been told. I'm only on two parts, so I can't I can only really speak on the parts I've seen. But based on what I've been told, you're only really tied down to two major characters. I haven't met I haven't met the JoJo guy that was in or the, the guy from JoJo. That was in, um, that's in, um, Jump Force, um, Jotaro. Yeah, is that in name? I think it's Jotaro. I don't, I don't really know too much of that guy because I haven't met him yet. But, overall, for me, personally, uh, I like the fact they ain't afraid to kill off characters. I like the comedy aspect. I like the placement of comedy. I like action shows that like to be funny. They like to joke about stuff. They like to be funny within a serious moment that's one of the reasons why i like one piece one piece does a lot of that there's a lot of moments where it seems to be serious and then they turn it into comedy i like that stuff in anime and i like the fact that jojo executes that in a great fashion i like the gore the action i like uh, the brutality of the show the brutality of the show man that show has a lot of brutal gory and even some moments i'm just like oh my lord man that is nasty <laughs> you know what i mean like there's a lot of moments where the series has you in shock, has me kind of just like my skin crawling a bit, just like, oh, how could someone's body get done like that, you know what I mean? And a lot of savage moments within the series. The series has a lot of moments that just has you in shock. And I like it in series. I like series that has that. And that's one of the main reasons why I like JoJo. The, the entertaining aspect, the entertainment aspect, of course, because when you like any series, you're going to be entertained by it. And not only that, the aspect of the characters, get to know about the characters and get to understand their ability, hormone. And seeing all of that stuff unravel and unroll and seeing the characters grow and understanding how the abilities work and understanding what people specialize in, which is completely unique to each and every person. Like, um, there's a guy in the series that, no, that, that uses freaking bubbles, bruh. That uses bubbles to attack his opponents. And it's pretty cool to see how he was able to use bubbles in a, such a destructive way. And I keep forgetting his name, man. 
And I know Mayo gonna be mad, bro, because Mayo loves that character. That's like his favorite character, one of his favorite characters. And uh, uh, if you guys seen episode 20, man, what happened to him was sad. Honestly, man, his backstory, his uh, his experience, and just everything he's been through. His whole entire character has been through a lot, man. Being an Italian guy, live from Naples. Is it Naples? I think it's Naples. Is it Naples? I don't exactly remember like a lot of the stuff I'm, I'm still trying to get a grasp on having a good knowledge of this series and trying to do it justice you know what I'm saying but as a whole I like Jojo's Bizarre Adventures and um, yeah I want to know what you guys think about Jojo if you've seen it Dio is an asshole <laughs> Joseph um, Joe Star's cool Jonathan's meh and uh, who else is there uh, I can't remember the chick the one that trains uh uh, Joseph Joestar. I, I, I'm, I, I take a while to remember names. Uh, it's weird because before I was recording this video, I actually remembered all the characters' names. This is when I clicked record. I forgot a lot of the niggas' names, man. But it will, it will come to me, man. It will come to me at some point. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. This ain't really me breaking down the series. This is just me giving you guys my overall thoughts and opinions in such a relaxed and chilled way. If it was me breaking down, obviously, I wouldn't be forgetting niggas' names and stuff. But as a whole, guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. And yeah, oh yeah, I remember the guy's name. His name was Caesar. That was his name. <laughs> and yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like reading because it helps me out. And make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon because I know a lot of people are not seeing my video in their sub box. We're going to try and progress. And the more and more I do this, the more and more you're going to see me advance in quality. I got a lot of my plate. I'm trying to make time to make videos. I'm trying to be consistent. And I do have another Jump Force video coming out at some point. And uh, yeah, let me just wrap up this video. So please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please like, really enjoy this video, and yeah, this UK chocolate bar will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.